Thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel Alzafan. We begin with more violence in Buffalo. The most recent attack, a double shooting. One person now dead, another fighting for his life. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Matt Beauvais here now with new information on this spike of violence in Buffalo. Rachel, September has been one of the most violent months of 2015 in the city of Buffalo. In this noon, the death toll yet again on the rise. Now, this was the scene last night near the corner of Park Ridge in East Amherst, where Buffalo police tell 7 Eyewitness News that a 39-year-old Buffalo man has died and a 19-year-old is in critical condition. No word yet on their names. We also know that double shooting involved a car that eventually crashed into an electric pole, taking down several power lines and keeping dozens of homes in the dark and roads closed. Up until just about an hour ago, and all of this happened after an anti-violence meeting just three miles away. To come up with solutions, stronger and better solutions to some ideas that are already working, but we have a lot more work to do. We just want to uh, make sure that people know that there is an army of brothers and sisters, men and women, out in the streets working every day on the front lines uh, to quell homicide and, and quell violence. Now, in September alone, there have been 10 shootings in the city, seven of which have been deadly. Now, the homicide year-to-date number is actually down. So far this year, there have been 28 homicides as opposed to 38 at this time last year. But if the recent trend continues, that number could surpass 2014 by year's end. Matt Bovee, 7 Eyewitness News.